Hello and welcome to the eighth video uh, regarding fundamental investing with the use of programming. Where we left off, we were compiling this list of the Russell 3000 companies that we got from Russell.com. And where we left off, we basically got all the names and just the tickers, right? We separated that from this PDF file. And now what we want is really just the tickers and a big long array that looks like an array that we've been using. So the next thing that we're going to do is open up the script that we've been working with um, and really, I guess what I would tell you to do is make a new script and save this script because you might, you know, you might want to use this exact script and, and just replace the S&P 500 with the Russell 3000 array and then replace that down here. But what I'm going to do is, is since I'm just using this, this uh, script for these video tutorials. I'm just going to do control A and delete. But again, if for you, you might want to open up a new one. So um, yeah, use your own uh, judgment there. Now what we're going to do is make a program that's going to pull those Russell 3000, uh, just the tickers and make an array for us. So um, we don't really need to import anything. And then so what I'm going to do is make tickers an empty array. And now we're going to do a define parse, oops, parse Russ, no parameters. And as always, we are going to a case and a try and accept. And actually, when I have exception, e, print string e, we won't have any other try and accept, so I'm just going to print the string if it fails. Now what we're going to do is read file equals open and whatever you titled that file, I called mine Russell 3000 and also keep in mind it needs to be in the same directory uh, as this script, otherwise you'll need to put the full path, or a path anyways. Anyway, Russell3000.txt, what do we want to do? We want to read, so just an R, and read that file. Now the next thing we're going to do is split file equals read file dot split by a new line. Now we're going to make a for loop to run through each line. So for each line in split file, what do we want to do? Well, first we should probably split up that line. Now how can we split up that line? Well, what we want is the end group of characters, right? Like this, it's the same on every line. It's this little group of characters right at the end. So what could we split by? Well, in my opinion, the best way to split this up would be by a space. And then we want to take the negative first element, right? So it'll make, because depending on how many you know words are in the name of this company, it might be different. Like this is 1-800-Flowers-Com, but then you've got some that are just like this one, 3MCO, which only has two words. So we can't go you know positively, but we could say, not the zeroth element, but the negative first element. So that'll take us to the last element, no matter how many elements in that array there are. So split by space, and then the negative first element. So we'll close out of this. So split line is going to be each line dot split by a space. Now the ticker is going to equal split line and negative one for the last element, basically, in that array. Now what we're going to want to do is, is reference our tickers array, and we're going to say tickers.append ticker. And then once this for loop is completely done running through, all we need to do is just print tickers, and it will give us a printed out version of this Russell 3000 that's in the perfect format for us to just simply do a copy and paste. So you'll see what I mean in just a second. So print tickers. Uh, save that, run it move it over quick enough and in a minute after it runs through everything it should print it. oh you know what we didn't call uh, the uh, function so if you didn't put it in your script now type with me parse rus and then hit enter and now it should give you a printed out array which is perfect so all we need to do now is just highlight it all the way to the top and copy so you've got you know just the array part and then now, just for example, you could say Russell 3000 equals, 
and that was the whole array. So you just hit paste or copy paste, whatever, or just paste, don't copy anything. And now you've got that array. And now you have a full array of the Russell 3000 that now we can use to um, hit up Yahoo for all of these companies. So now, now what I'm going to do is put this back into our, our original script that we only really ended up finding a, a, just a tiny handful of companies. And let's see if we can find any more companies um, in this world, because now we're adding basically 2,500 companies to look into. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to run a video while, we, while I do that. Um, but So I'm just going to copy Russell 3000 into, I guess I, guess I could show you guys what we're, what we're going to do now. Um, so here's like an older version of a script that we were using. So we were just looking for anything with a less than one price to book and then a non-negative less than one PEG um, ratio. So now what we want to do is, um, and then it just simply printed out the PE12. The next thing that we'll do is actually print out uh, or, or, or require a greater than zero, less than one PE12 probably in the next video. But anyway, what we want to do is take this Russell 3000, copy, bring it over to one of our old scripts, paste that Russell 3 in there. Wait a second until it's done. Save. And I, I want to say if we throw that into the URL, even though these are all, all caps, it's not a big deal. Um, if it is... Uh, well, let's just find out real quick. Let me put it. So instead of for each stock in the S&P 500, we can say for each stock in the Russell 3000. Um, <laughs> I'll run it real quick just to confirm. So if not, we'll run a quick function to lowercase all of these uh, tickers. That's not really a big deal. So let me save it. But it sh it, I don't think the, uh, the Yahoo URLs are case sensitive. So let me run it real quick. Okay, it looks like it's working. Um, got a few NAs and some out of range indexes, but that's okay. Those were not data that we were interested in, anyways. As we can see, we found MIT with a price to book ratio that was uh, decent, but it didn't m meet our uh, PEG requirement. But uh, already we found AYR, um, who the trailing uh, were overpaying, but the forward PEG we're actually underpaying which is interesting we could look into that a little bit and a decent price to book um, another one that I just saw ANR although it's been losing money so there's that the forward ratio is 0.12 though that's a very cheap company um, but it's been losing money so you'd want to look into that but anyway um, so yeah, that's going to work. So that's good. So now uh, we're able to hit up Yahoo for the entire, entire Russell 3000. And probably what I'll do is set some requirements and then we'll get a list of companies that meet uh, these three requirements here at least of a price to book less than one, PEG less than one, and then a PE12 of less than one. And we'll see how many stocks within that Russell 3 meet those requirements. And then we'll start doing some more work with those and figuring out how else we might be able to either use programming or just a little bit of computer knowledge uh, to do some, some more um, investigation into these companies. So uh, hopefully you guys are looking forward to that. As always, thank you for watching. Thanks for your support, your subscriptions, and until next time.